If you are planning to buy a new home, one of the questions you may have is, should I keep my current home and rent it out, or should I sell it? The answer isn't necessarily simple because it depends on a number of factors and your personal situation. Let's look at some of the factors that you may want to consider. The first one is, do you need the equity from your current home in order to buy your next home? And is there enough equity that you could pull some out through an equity line or loan and use it for the purchase? Or would you actually need to sell it? So that's the first thing to look at. The second thing is, if you pulled some equity out, or even if you didn't, would the rent cover your mortgage or mortgages on the current home. If not, then you may want to sell it because few people want to keep a property if there's going to be a negative cash flow. Another thing to consider is whether or not you want to be a landlord. And if you don't want to manage the property, you want to make sure that you factor in the cost of hiring a professional property manager. Finally, look at not only what are your short-term plans, but also what are your long-term plans. Sometimes people move to another area thinking that they'll come back to Southern California at some point, and then they may want to move back into the home they're moving out of. If that's the case, you may not want to sell it. But if you have no intention of ever moving back, then you want to look at, okay, if I plan on selling this maybe in the next few years, does it make sense to go ahead and sell it now? And the reason you may want to do that is because of capital gains exemptions. I'm not an accountant or a tax advisor, so I can't give you any tax advice, but in general, what I can say is that when you're selling a property that's been your primary residence for two out of the previous five years, you can benefit from a capital gains exemption as tax law stands. Now let's say you rent this place out and now it's been seven years, eight years, and you finally decide that you want to sell it. At that point, the only way to avoid or defer the taxes is through a 1031 tax deferred exchange, which means you have then got to buy another rental property. If you're selling the place now and it's your primary residence, then you don't have to do that. So those are just some things to consider. If you are thinking about making a move and you're wondering based on your situation, if you should sell your current house or rent it out, I'm happy to work through some of the numbers with you and help you determine what's your best strategy. I'm Shannon with the Shannon Jones team at Keller Williams Realty in Long Beach, California. If you have any other questions about selling a home or buying or investing in property, let us know and consider subscribing to us on YouTube or following on social media.